Hey friends, I wanted to share how I add a junk journal feel to my ring bound planners. Um, I love ring bound planners. I think they're just great for practical purposes. Um, I like how you can have divided sections. So that's really organized. But what I love about junk journals is the layering that you can do um, with different sizes of pages and the different colors and patterns and textures. So I wanted to bring that same kind of feeling into my planner. So I'm going to share with you three different dividers that I did um, that sort of have that feel. So the first one is kind of a standard divider. Um, all I did was add some pom-pom trim to the edge. But other than that, it's... It's pretty basic. Um, I just added a vintage book page beneath my vintage image, and the other elements are scrapbooking elements. The middle divider is actually three layers. So um, it's got the bottom, like, kind of standard divider that you would see, but I added two layers on top just for fun. Um, no real practical reason, although you could use each layer for different parts of your planning um, or for journal writing or some memory keeping. I know some people like to add uh, memory keeping to their planners and doing it in a junk journal style would really work well with that. So I did three layers, like I said. Um, the top and bottom layers are darker colors, more busy patterns, and the center one is lighter, less... Um, busy and I thought that really helped the top layer and the bottom layer kind of pop. So the top layer, um, I added a replica of a vintage Halloween postcard to it in a little tip out that I just added with washi on the edge and added a little postcard under there but you could do a little journaling on that or add a photo right there. So that's the top layer. And that flips over and I just added another little image, vintage image. I love combining new like scrapbooking elements like the doily and the scrapbook paper and washi with the vintage um, images. I just, I love combining them and I think they lend themselves really well to that. So for the middle section, um, let me take my clip off here. Um, I added a little embellishment that I made and this is actually folded. So I had a piece of scrapbook paper that was already folded from one of the junk journals that I made, and I didn't use this page. And what I did is I trimmed off like a half inch from the top layer and hole punched the bottom layer. So it would go my planner and then flip open. And then you can use this. This is a really good example of... Um, like memory keeping where you could put a photo on the inside and then I added a vintage um, like check over here that you could use to journal on. I can flip it over right underneath, put something else underneath there and just as the month goes on you can just kind of have fun with it, decorating, adding different things to it. Um, so that's the middle section and then that flips over and I put a vintage bingo card on here as a pocket and a vintage library card that I decorated. And you can use that for lists or journaling right there in your planner. And then this is kind of a standard, typical divider. So all three of them together just kind of make it um, feel a little bit more like a junk journal. So that's that section. And then on this one, same kind of um, idea. I layered it up with scrapbook paper and some glitter stickers. You could add a photo over here or some kind of journaling. And on this layer, I added a ribbon to the edge. I love the way that it looks when it kind of peeks out of the side of your, of your planner. And you can add some more things over here, photo or some kind of journaling. And then I added a book page um, just for fun. You could use the space on here to journal um, or you could add a, a photo or something right on top of the, the words there. So 
those are just a couple of ideas of how you can add a junk journal feel to your planners. Thank you so much for watching.